All right, this one is going to be about the Wendy Williams documentary yesterday. I watched the Wendy Williams documentary yesterday, and I got to give, you know, uh, an assessment, you know, from both sides, from the civilian side that a lot of y'all is on, and I want you to be on. That's the empathetic side. And then we're going to give it to you from the street side. That's where a lot of y'all want to straddle the fence and say you want to be outside. I'm going to show you how heartless and cold-hearted you have to be to be outside. So don't hate me. Just hate the world that we live in and the choices that we make. All right, let's go. Yeah. You know what it is. Unique Mecca Audio, man. I'm just checking in. I want you to see some of my background, see what's going on. You know, it's my New York City background. We're going to talk about Wendy Williams. That's, uh, you know, from New York. And that's the way that moves. So, you know, don't get in your feelings and don't get in your body. Let's just keep this thing moving. All right? That's old yo Gotti chilling. You know what I mean? Just some of my background so you understand. All right? And now... Let's get the show started, all right? I want to thank everybody for your donations that helped me get my studio hooked up in a manner that I did so I could bring you this real street gangster, gangster, gangster content. Now, everybody's sitting here, you know, looking at I looked at, you know, the Wendy Williams joint with my family yesterday, right? I don't even watch that type of crap. Yeah, and I said crap, you know, hate me for speaking my mind. I don't even watch all these reality shows and things like that because they usually be fake, but I really enjoyed this one because what Wendy did was, if you didn't see it, Wendy captured the moment when she was at her worst point in life and had a camera following her around. Now, what they did with that is they tried to just say that it was just alcohol that she was on, you know? So they said that she had an alcoholic problem because, you know, that's her team putting it out. You know, but we all know and remember over the years, they were saying that Wendy was taking a, a ping ping or two or blowing a torch or two, you know, but they didn't mention nothing about none of that. But if you look at the video and look up there at the way this thing is going, look at her eyes. When you see this video, you will see, you know, we know she has bad feet and issues with her feet, things like that. So she had trouble standing, but she lost mad weight. And the crazy part is she talked about all of these people. You understand? All of these people in a negative manner, right? Let, 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 let's start with, you know, Britney Spears. Now, she got on Britney Spears and she got a lot of backlash because she was mocking Britney Spears' struggles with uh, mental health and um, uh, con conversership. You know what I mean? Whatever that is. Y'all know, put it in the comments. Correct me. I'm just so dumb now. <laughs> you know what I mean? But now, she mocked Britney about her health issues, and here's Whitney with her own health issues. You see how karma work? Karma is a biatch. So you understand. Karma came back to get her in the worst way. You can't do bad and think that bad is not going to be done onto you or nothing is going to happen. It just don't happen that way, just so you understand. Now, she went on Britney Spears. Then she went at uh, Meghan Markle. You know, that's the girl that, uh, you know, well, the sister that, you know, that came up and got Prince, you know, what's the name? Prince uh, Harry, hey, you know? Now, she went on her and she received... A lot of, you know, a lot of backlash and stuff because she was saying that there was accusations of she was being racist, you know. But when you got a dude like Prince Harry that was born and, you know, there's rumors, rumors and allegations that, you know, all of them over there, you know, that run all that is racist, you know. But. The black people over there love them just as much as the white people, so it's not our place to decide what's going on. Let me ride, you know. So it's the same thing, right? It's the same thing like when Saddam Hussein was out in Iraq and out about with his son Uday and Uzday. They went, as America called it, and put in the media, terrorized that whole Middle East, 
But what they needed was a tyrant in that Middle East because once they removed Saddam Hussein, that's when all of those other names started with an I and certain things. And I don't want to get into the name calling because YouTube don't like you even mention it because everything is censored to try and hide the truth from you. And that's why so many of Donald Trump's base is with him because he brought the truth out about Washington. Y'all don't like the truth. What's that movie, Top Gun, where a uh, dude told him in the joint, you know, you can't handle the truth. That's how y'all are. Y'all can't handle the truth. The truth of the matter is, with, uh, uh, what's her name? Wendy Williams made her career off of defecating on everybody else's down flights and illnesses and everything else and that's how she made her money. She went at Britney Spears, uh, uh, Meghan Markle. She went at Myra, uh, with, uh, Mariah Carey, right? She made disparaging comments about, uh, about Carey's personal life and her weight fluctuations over the years. Now look at her. She looks like olive oil, you know? Not dissing her, just keeping it 100. I just want you all to see how karma comes back to bite you. And now this is the queen of gossip. She started that gossip from the radio station and created a lane that once social media came out, then all the, you know, all the bottom feeders, you know what I mean? The bottom feeders and haters was able to come out and just defecate on anyone's name to move forward. And that's the queen of that. Let's give her a round of applause for school y'all head and your social media up. <laughs> all right, let's give her a round of applause. Big shout out to Wendy. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, all that was fun and games back then, right, Wendy? Now we look at your show, and my family members, they had sympathy for her. I had to point out how she did the same thing as so many others, and that's why their lives is like it is now, where a lot of them can't even come out because they feel ashamed and to be honest, I think only reason they did this documentary because she's losing it with her mental illness and she don't really even realize what's going on. But they set her up from back then. Maybe she set herself up by recording everything because she didn't know how, you know, crazy she looked. You know what I mean? During that time of her life. But what I'm saying is, and I tried to explain this to, you know, my family members yesterday. Everybody was watching, say, oh, poor Wendy, poor Wendy. I said, but what about poor Britney? What about poor, uh, poor Meghan Markle? What about, you know, you know, poor Mariah Carey? You know, everything that we watched went... D. Williams going through yesterday on her documentary, all of these people she defecated on with negative comments, airing their business out, whether it was true or not, not getting into that. You know, it just came back to bite her because karma don't miss no one. Karma miss no one. You know, the civilians they look at, they figure, you know, oh, I could talk crap about them. They're not going to do nothing because, you know, in my world, you don't punch somebody in the face for talking crap about you. You don't decapitate somebody, you know, for telling on you, you know, as civilians. But when you enter into the underbelly dealing with the bottom feeders, you know, you don't know what to expect. And you can't say, oh, I wouldn't punch him in the face for saying that. So I know he wouldn't punch me in the face for saying that. No, that's how so many people get harmed out here. Let's stop it, y'all. We can't sit here going through that. So now we got Britney, you know, Megan and Mariah that she talked about. Then there was another one, uh, Jay Quinn, uh, what's it? Jay Quinn uh, uh, Phoenix, you know. He faced public, uh, uh, Wendy faced public outcry. You know, for mocking Phoenix, uh, uh, cleft lip you know, scar that he had from a childhood. Dude got a scar on his lip and Wendy laughing at the man for having a scar. But now, Whitney, should we laugh at you for breaking down, looking like you on the pipe while you're sitting there making this video and your family is trying to be respectful and they're just blaming it on alcohol. But we know what we saw. 
We know what we experience during your lifetime. And it's not, you know, I'm not trying to put it out there. I'm just putting the facts out there. All they talked about was alcohol. We know Wendy had a problem, but they didn't even mention that. And that's because they're trying to change the narrative and put it out there that it was an alcohol issue she had because alcohol is illegal and alcohol is more acceptable to use in, in our society. Not the, as we called it back then, the ping ping. So they changed the narrative, but they showed it. We know, look at, look at that picture on the screen. Does that look like a woman that's on alcohol? Who have you ever seen on alcohol that looks like that? Let me even show you another picture because y'all don't understand how serious this is. That, you know, this social media allows people to change the narrative. Look at these pictures of what she went from. I looked at some pictures of Wendy when she was you know, young and grown up before all the hoopla and the Wendy Williams show. And she was a beautiful sister. Complexion was excellent. She had a nice Carmel complexion, you know. Then she went with the makeup and damn near turned white. Even went to dye her hair blonde to look white. I mean, come on, you know. Now, y'all go back. I didn't get a chance to go look for an old picture because, like I said, I just flow, man. I just ride. You know what I mean? So I ride from the top of my head, and that's why y'all like it, because I give y'all the insight from a nigga that was raised in the street, so y'all understand how the street go. You can't do that, Mariah. Mariah went, um, uh, 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 Mariah, you know, went through her own turmoils from the lips of Wendy Williams. Then you got Kelly Clarkson, you know, uh, where Wendy was called out for the rude comments about Clarkson's divorce you know, um, and appearance. But Wendy, you are going through the same thing. Your man done turned around. If y'all ain't watch it, you know, ain't nothing to blow because it wasn't no suspense. If y'all ain't watch it, check it out, right? Wendy's man went out and got with another younger chick, got her pregnant, went, got a house, moved her, moved in the house with the lady, you know what I mean? And left Wendy to her own demise and he used <laughs> Wendy's money to do this. You understand? Now, that's her divorce issues, the same as Kelly Clarkson was having divorce issues. But now y'all want to say, oh, Wendy's man is so bad. He did this to her. Oh, I can't believe that. But Wendy put it out there about Kelly Clarkson going through her own divorce and her own appearance. And look at Wendy's appearance in these videos. Yo, as she's talking, she's crying every five seconds because her life is being fulfilled with karma. Let's just say that. Her life is being fulfilled with karma. So this video, so you understand the message to this, because you know we get a lot of rat bastards and flip-flop playing and public trolls that say, oh, you need you just talking bad about Wendy. No, I'm just putting the facts out there because Wendy started this whole gossip line that social media is making millions off of. From just going up there and now they say anything with no proof and they run with it. Wendy said a lot of things with no proof and ran with it. She said a lot of things that was true and ran with it. But some things wasn't supposed to be said because what happened in people's personal lives is supposed to stay there. And when you expose that, then karma come to get you for exposing that and expose your own secrets. That's how this works. Karma misses no one. Let's get that straight. Now, Gabrielle Union, right? Wendy even talked about pretty Gabrielle. I grew up loving Gabrielle. I, I loved Gabrielle. You know what I mean? Because she was like a, a beautiful black sister. You know? And she reminded me a lot of my mother. You know? She was just so beautiful, you know? But now, Gabrielle Union, Williams received, you know, significant criticism for implying that Gabrielle Union was difficult to work with on the America's Got Talent. In other words, why would you go out there in public and say someone was difficult to work with when what happens in the workplace is supposed to stay in the workplace? Like what happened in the home is supposed to stay in the home. Do y'all follow where I'm going at with this? You know, karma is a bitch. Remember what I told you? Look at these pictures of Wendy, man. Everything that you saw Wendy going through Last night, this weekend, on Lifetime TV, I highly recommend y'all go check it out. But I'm letting you know that from her victim's point of views, 
talking about Britney, Mariah, Megan, uh, Jaquin, uh, uh, Kelly Clarkston, and now we're talking about Gabrielle Union. They all went through the same pain and suffering and mental breakdown and tortures that she's going through. And that's how what we call, you know, the hustle gods come back to get you. You know, let me ride. Let me ride. All right. Now, I put my man fingers, all right? I put my man fingers on a female that, you know, was, you know, on my YouTube channel. She hit me up. She was doing, dealing with prison reform and certain things. So I said, let me hook my man Jimmy Fingers up, Leonardo Costico. I hooked him up with a female to help him with his case. They started kicking it. They wound up falling in love, and they got married thanks to me. Round of applause to my man getting married. Round of applause, round of applause, round of applause. Calm down, y'all. Please calm down, man. Let me finish this, man. Gunshots to the ones that don't understand that I'm just having fun riding. All right? Now, so check. My man Leonardo DiCosco, right, uh, a.k.a. Jimmy Fingers from the Poison Clan, he got married, right? He doing this thing. I told him, I said, brother, I introduced you to the females. I don't want the hustle gods to come back and get me for you violating this female. You know, he said, you, you know, I know all about the hustle gods, my nigga. I'm going to treat it like the queen until the day I die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Anybody that's dead with us during this time of pain and suffering and living in the belly of the beast and being buried alive, never will I forget them once I'm free. Much just a woman that I chose and she chose to marry me. So that's where we at. So you understand. So we talking about the hustle gods if I lost y'all. Gunshots to the rat bastards that's trying to throw y'all off with the fake comments. Now, we talking about the hustle gods. The hustle gods don't miss a beat. Sometimes it might skip you, which is like they call it, skipping a generation, and getting the next generation, meaning your kids. You know, that's where people have, not trying to say nothing bad, might have a, a deformed child. You understand? That's the hustle God's paying you back for something you did. Go ahead, put in the comments, y'all don't like it. You know, it's genetics. No, nah, nah, that's the hustle God's making it genetics. You can't violate and cross people and think that the hustle God's is not going to get you. We caught the hustle God's because we're on the street hustling and we meet a lot of people on the street and then we do what we got to do and we cross a lot of people. And when we cross those people, the hustle God's come back and get you because everything have an order and a structure. And the order and the structure is that you deal righteous at all times. You see, I did that righteous at all times just so that y'all fully understand. But when you start dealing unrighteous, now you're opening the door to be rewarded and visited by the hustle gods. So you young men, right, that don't want to listen to me, that's going to choose to go to jail and take my old cell, right? Once you go to jail, the females that you love the most, the females you love the most is going to be the first to leave you. The females you never paid attention to that loved you, but you never paid attention to realize where the real love was because you were so busy trying to give love instead of receiving love. And that's where a lot of us go out and buy a female a car, buy a house, buy a ring, buy this, buy that, and not even paying attention to her needs. And I'm not talking about sexual needs. I'm talking about emotional, spiritual, sexual, of course, and everything else. When you don't pay attention to that, and then they go out and, as they say, cheat on you, then that's karma coming to get you. Because nine times out of ten, you was out cheating too. So don't sit there getting mad and say, oh, she violated me because she did it, she did that. Now, we got Jennifer Lawrence, right? Jennifer Lawrence was also a victim of <laughs> Wendy Williams. Uh, she drew eerie from her body shaming, you know, uh, um, uh, comments made about Lawrence over many years. I Meaning she always criticized people about their body. Did you see Wendy's body in her show? Where was her body in her show? What state did she leave her body in? Because the state that it said, that was strictly lost. You know, I'm just keeping it 100. But you can't talk about people and think that karma is not coming to get you. So that's for all you bloggers, because Wendy introduced y'all 
to this, you know, shaming and people putting people's business out there. Now, people making a living for it. But well, you got to remember, you're hustling, making a living from talking crap about people. Some true, some lies, but certain things you know not supposed to go out there. Just like how, you know, I'm right. Just like how, you see, let's take the presidents. Because we're going to take it to a higher level. You see how you got Obama? President Obama. Let me say that right. We still we got President Obama. We got President Bill Clinton. You know what I mean? With his daughter. And then you got President Trump. You know, with his youngest son. You see how they keep the kids out the media? You see... On that level of mentality and honor and respect, they leave the children alone. Next time, last time we saw, I think his name is Barron, Donald Trump's son, he might have been 12. You know what I mean? That was like almost eight years ago. So that's a grown man now, and we don't even know what he looked like as an adult yet. But he's going to come out on this campaign trail and mark what I tell you, because I just speak the real and the facts. When Barron come out and you see that little boy, how he done became a man goes to show you, you know? And whatever karma that Donald Trump got coming to him or Bill Clinton got coming to him or President Obama got coming to him, you know, they skip them and hit their generation of their children or their great-grandchildren because karma never sleeps. Karma never rests. Just so you understand. But there was so many people that Wendy Williams has talked bad about over the years. And everything that she's going through right now in this documentary that I watched, she put so many other people through it. And then the craziest part, right? The craziest part. They asked her when they were talking about making a comeback, who would you like to interview, you know, for your show? She said, uh, Diddy. Or Puffy, whatever she called him. You know, she said, Diddy, what in the hell would make you think that he's going to sit down and do an interview with you? How much was you in or drinking if you think that Diddy's going to sit down with you? You know what I mean? And, you know, she said, Diddy, and, and, and I couldn't, and, and then she said, Madonna, these are all the people that you crapped on. You know, her manager, you know, is so-called hiding money uh, uh, for her. And, and uh, let me see. Where is that now? Her, her manager is, uh, I just had a good one. Okay, manager is hiding money for her and opening an account for her. They saying that her own son stole from her. Don't know if it's true, not saying it's true. But these are all the things that karma bring along your path for what you do, you know? It looks like the people around her was stealing money from her. Wells Fargo stepped in and said, hold up, too many different people coming in and getting too much money, and normal people don't do that, so we need Wendy to come in so we can see what's going on. Wendy must have went in, they see what was going on, excuse me, by looking at her, and just from that, they like, whoa, you know? She not capable of handling this. They definitely robbing her. So they froze her money. Her son said, yeah, I spent $100,000, but um, I never spent nothing without my mother authorizing it. And for the kind of money that Wendy had, 100000 is nothing for them to even make a big thing out of it. So all that seems a little suspicious for me, you know, about Wells Fargo coming in. But still, after looking at Wendy with her eyes popping out of her head, can't even think right, hide the little girl. And the girl done took her all the way to California, away from the manager. And the girl worked for the manager, but yet she all the way got Wendy hiding from the manager. And talked about she used her credit card to buy Wendy a ticket. And what the hell is going on, man? Karma is a bitch. Never forget that. Been on here long enough. I might have to do a part two to this because I know I'm going to get some backlash. I don't give a crap about none of that because you rat bastards and flip-flop wearing in public. You're not in my league 
are in my lane, so please stay out my lane and leave me alone the same as I leave others alone. I'm just reporting the facts about Mariah, uh, about, you know, Wendy. I keep saying Mariah because she reminds me of Mariah with her hair out like that, I guess from her trying to look white, but, you know, it looks good. But that's where we at, man. Make sure... If you want to know who I am, cop the book of Rowan Harlem. Cop the book of Rowan Harlem and stop the games at aroaringharlem.com. All right? And just remember what I told you about a good old Wendy now. Things is real out there in the Ville, you know? Um, the Kennedys got their own karma, and they got it really fast. Let's get that straight. Everybody gets their karma. I got my karma. I sat in jail for 26 years, came home. You know, and didn't even know my children when I went and it was 18 months. I come home, they're 27 going on 28. Karma is a bitch. I'm not mad. I'm not screaming that. Please feel sorry for me for doing 26 years in federal prison. No, I got my karma for poisoning my community and I welcome that. Wendy need to welcome her karma. We all need to welcome our karma. That's why we need to live a righteous life and stop backbiting and slandering each other because that's ridiculous. Let me show you another joint before I tap out. You know what I mean? Look at, look at, look at this. Look at Wendy. Does that look like alcohol? Does that look like alcohol? Or are we gonna play this social media game and try and change the narrative of who Wendy really was? Does that look like alcohol? All right, let me show you another, because y'all playing games, man. You know, y'all playing games. We're not gonna let them do that. You know, does that look like alcohol? Who you know that drinks alcohol that wind up eyes popping out their head looking like that? Could we keep this 100 with each other? We're trying to help each other, so we have to admit what the problems are. All right? Let me tap out. Been on here long enough. I got things to do today. Remember, cop the book of Rowan Harlem. My cash app is on the screen. You know, uh, follow me on Instagram, Unique Mecca Audio, and they go to cash app on the screen. Make sure you hit the logo, and it says that the account was created in 2020, not 2023 or 2024. Let's get this thing popping. Let's do what we got to do because... Over here, Unique Make Audio, we speak the facts. So don't hate me, just hate the facts. I... Cheers, 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 the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime, the crime. The crime, the crime. Hey! Fresh out the can of 26, yeah. he back on the strip, uh -huh. getting back in the mix, yeah. what he mentions a gift, Trust. you stand up ten toes down, and I suggest you pay attention to this, Real. take a little gully posse and put it in haul, uh. he cut from the bottom, back. came up from the bottom, back. drop the book, you should go and get it, the Instagram page and the YouTube, you could go and visit, yeah. then you could consider yourself linked in, Real. sit front row and get jewels from a kingpin, uh. how he went through it so you ain't gotta go do it, uh -huh. did not pay attention would be stupid, talking about a man that probably put your grandfather on probably the reason that him and your grams got along a man that generated millions on the block did his time never squilling to the cops make an audio Get it live like two G's in the 90s. Yeah. Drop top beamer so shine. Yeah. Yeah. I let shorty go, she was wine. Treat her like my past, she behind me. 
Spin a couple bands on the dapper Dan. You be back again, getting green like a Packers fan. No cap, it's a raw and uptown. They be horn uptown, Dominican bust down. Now we on the positive. You we got a lot to give. Now you trying to stop the kids from being an operative. So take heed, homie Linda Ed. He started in uptown, he gon' finish dead. But now it ain't about selling drugs, buying cars. It's about buying property to make the community yard. So we can give back to the youth them. Cause they the truth them. And bless up to all the rude men. Yeah.